eight ways to transform a bad marriage into a great marriage. Welcome to Wisdom for Singles and Married with Samala Benjo. Uh, this program runs from Monday to Friday by 7 p.m. Tell your friend uh, and your loved one about this program. Uh, make sure you make comments and, and ask questions and about your relationship and marriage, and we will surely attend to you. Your marriage will not fail in the name of Jesus. Today we are discussing about eight ways to transform a bad marriage into a glorious and excellent marriage. Number one way to transform your marriage is to communicate always. Communicate always. If there is any issue in your marriage, you and your spouse should come together and discuss about it. In marriage, we don't keep malice. In marriage, we don't allow silent treatment. If you really want to solve that issue, you must have effective communication. Communication is the backbone of marriage. Without communication, you can't have a long-lasting marriage. As long as you can discuss, both of you can come together you will surely have the marriage of your dream. So if there's any issue you are facing in your marriage, both of you should sit down and discuss about the issue. Talk as friends. Talk as lover. Don't talk as enemy. When you are talking about the issue, don't abuse each other. Don't, don't insult each other. Don't curse your spouse. Talk about the issue and uh, discuss together and you will surely solve the issue and have the marriage of your dream. Listen to your spouse. When your spouse is talking to you, don't interrupt. If your spouse is telling you a, 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 a bad, about what you are doing that is affecting the marriage, please listen if you really want to build your marriage. So take your time to sit down and talk about the issue and you will surely have the marriage of your dream. Number two thing you need to do if you want to transform your marriage, you must make adjustments. You must do what? You must make adjustments. If you are the issue in that marriage, if you are the problem in that marriage, don't be rigid. Don't be stubborn. Try to make adjustments. One of the keys that make marriage work is adjustments. If you are too stubborn, if you are too rigid, you know, if you don't try to make adjustments, you can't have a long-lasting marriage. You are not ready for excellent marriage. So make adjustment. After discussing and you discover that there are some bad character that you have that, that, is, that is giving your spouse headache, you must try as much as possible to make adjustments. So bad character... Stubbornness is a cancer in marriage, so you need to deal with it. If you are wicked, if you are stubborn, if you have some danger character, you know, take time and deal with them. So learn to be God-fearing, learn to be kind, learn to be caring, you know, try as much as possible to give your, your spouse peace for the rest of Israel life. So work on yourself, work on your character. Stop making life difficult for your spouse. If you know that your, your, your heart is to your character, it is it, it, making life difficult for your spouse. You have to work on it. You have to work on it. You have, you have to sit down, examine yourself, and work on your character. One thing you must know that nobody can build your marriage for you. Nobody can build your marriage for you. If you are not ready, nobody. So you must make up your mind that this marriage must work. And one of the ways the marriage can work is by adjusting. You must adjust. You must not be rigid. You must not be stubborn. You must make adjustment. You must examine yourself. You must work on your character. Bad character is not your destiny. Terrible character is not your destiny. If you are terrible, you can't, you can't produce good marriage. So you must make adjustment. If you want to transform a bad marriage into a great marriage. Number three thing you need to do. Learn to say, I am sorry. Don't be too proud to say, I am sorry. Learn to say, forgive me. 
By the time both of you come together, you discuss about your marital issue, you talk about way forward. If you know that you, you, you are guilty, if you know that you, you have offended your spouse, you know, don't be defensive. Acknowledge your fault and tell your spouse, I am sorry. Don't allow pride and arrogance in your marriage. Don't allow pride and arrogance because these are major enemies of marriage. So learn to say, I am sorry. Learn to say, please forgive me. Learn to apologize and save your marriage. This is one of the ways to transform a bad marriage into a great marriage. The next point, learn to pray together as a couple. If you want to transform your marriage, you must learn to pray together. Jesus says something in the book of John 15 verse 5. Without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. And the Bible says, unless the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that build it. So the more you pray together, the more peaceful your marriage will become. The more you pray together, the more peaceful your marriage will become. If you want to get the best out of your marriage, prayer is a necessity. You must learn to pray together. Devil is the number one enemy of your marriage. It is not your husband, it is not your wife. Your husband is not, is not your enemy. Your wife is not your enemy. The enemy is that devil. So you must pray against every enemy in your marriage, build your marriage on prayers. Turn your marriage into a prayer project. So if you want to transform your marriage, you must learn to pray together. Prayer protects your marriage from every attack of the enemy. Prayer will protect your marriage. What do you want God to change in your marriage? Table it to God in prayer. So if you want to transform your marriage, you must learn to pray together. The couple that pray together stay together. You can, you, there's no limit to how I can go in life as a praying couple. So learn to pray together. The next point is that accept the person you married. Don't try to change your spouse. Don't try to change your husband. Don't try to change your wife. Accept the person you marry. There is no perfect person. There is no perfect marriage anywhere. Stop comparing your husband with anybody. Stop comparing your wife with anybody. Accept the person you marry. One of the things, one of the ways to transform your marriage is to focus on the good qualities of your spouse. Focus on the strength of your spouse. If you keep focusing on the on the weaknesses of your spouse, you will damage your marriage. So stop comparing your spouse with anybody living or dead. That is no perfect marriage anywhere. That's no perfect person anywhere. So accept the person you marry. So focus on the strength. Whatever weaknesses your, your spouse has, you can table it to God in prayers. You can table it to God in prayer. The Bible says the, the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord. So God knows how to transform your spouse in the place of prayers. So the next point is that Learn to forgive your spouse. Learn to forgive your spouse. If you want God to step into your marriage, learn to forgive your spouse generously. Without forgiveness, marriage cannot work. Without forgiveness, marriage cannot work. You cannot have a long-lasting marriage if you cannot forgive. A successful marriage is between two forgivers. A successful marriage is between two what? Two forgivers. There is no how your spouse will not offend you, but you must learn to forgive over and over again. You must learn to forgive over and over again. So because love forgives. So learn to forgive your spouse. I know your spouse has offended you uh, one year ago, two years ago, and all that. If you want to transform your marriage, you must learn to forgive. You see, marriage is an headquarter of offenses. I do tell people that marriage is an headquarter of offenses. If you see couples celebrating 15 years anniversary, 20 years anniversary, they are celebrating many years of, of forgiveness. They are forgiving over and over again. So if you want your marriage to last long, if you want to build a successful marriage, you must learn to forgive your spouse. This is one of the ways to transform your marriage, to take your marriage to the next level. Number seven is 
Build a romantic marriage. Build, build a romantic marriage. Building a romantic marriage is one of the ways to transform a bad marriage into a great marriage. So romance is something you do to express your love to your spouse. So give room for romance in your marriage. Don't let your marriage to be too boring. So give room for romance in your marriage. One of the ways to, 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 to be a romantic spouse is for you to play together. You are too serious in that marriage. Play together with your wife. Play together with your husband. Couple that play together, stay together. So go out for a date. When last do you go for a date? Go to the beach, go to the cinema, and enjoy yourself. Take your, take your wife out for dinner and enjoy yourself. Go to cinema. You can plan a mini honeymoon. You can plan a, a, mini, a, a mini honeymoon. Honeymoon should not end a day after your wedding. Honeymoon is for life. So once in a while, it can be once in a more, it can be it can be once in a year. You can just book a hotel and spend like three days, seven days, enjoy yourself. It will renew your marriage. It will renew your marriage. So take a stroll together, dance together, sing together, eat together, and enjoy yourself. So one of the ways to transform your marriage is to build a romantic marriage. Be together, enjoy yourself, and it shall be well with your marriage. The last point is see a professional marriage counselor. See a professional marriage counselor. If you know that uh, you have tried all this and all that and your marriage is still not working, you can see a marriage counselor. You know, it is not good to see your neighbor, your friends, your, 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 your family because they are not experts. Uh -huh. So they will bring emotion, sentiment, into the counseling. So if you want professional and a solution, get an expert and discuss your matter. I, 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 I've seen couples, couples who, 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 who came to me for counseling, uh, couples who are having issues in their marriages. And after the professional counseling, today they are enjoying their marriage. So if you are fighting every day, quarreling every day, and you have tried everything, so get a professional counselor and let, let him talk to you, let him cancel you. Go through that training, and you will surely enjoy the marriage of your dream. Let's stop it for today, and make sure you put all this into work if you want your marriage to be transformed. Uh, don't forget to make a comment. Don't forget to share this program uh, with your friend, with your loved one. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. And uh, for Harvard and for... For sponsorship, you can call the number on the screen. I will surely attend to you. You will not fail in marriage. Your marriage shall be the best. God bless you. Mm -hmm.